welcome to Sunrise in Two. The main opposition People's Democratic Party says the vice presidential candidate of the party for the 2023 elections will be unveiled in a few hours. The National Publicity Secretary of the party, Dapo Ologunba, says Nigerians should be patient as the party is going through a democratic process that will accumulate in a running mate that will be acceptable to all. The federal government has said issues around the ongoing industrial actions embarked upon by the Academic Staff Union of Universities as to an other university-based union are not as simple as Nigerians think. This came from the Minister of Information and Culture, Alahaji Laya Mohammed. Moving on, Mr. Sanusu Galbar, Chairman Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, says Nigeria will witness improved power supply from July 1st following renewed efforts by the industry stakeholders. Garba gave this assurance at an interactive section with newsmen after the second Nigerian electricity supply industry meeting in Lagos. Governor Yaya Bello of Kogi State has said he will seek the presidential ticket again in the near future despite losing in his very first attempt at last week ruling all Progressive Congress primary elections. He spoke while interacting with state house reporters after a thank you visit to President Muhammad Buhari for allowing him to participate in the exercise. The airline operation of Nigeria has raised fears that three airlines may soon shut down operations following the aviation force crisis. Through the door, the three airlines were not mentioned. Vice President Mr. Allen Onyema confirmed that fuel prices has now hit all-time high of 740 naira per liter. The Yobe non-senatorial candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Bashar Mashina, has stated that the president of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, who currently occupies the seats, did not have a plan to return to Senate. Machina insisted on not giving the ticket to Lawan. And in other stories, gunmen have adopted a reporter, Mr. Chuks Onoha, from his country home in Abia State, according to his family. Onoha, who is the editor in chief of all fat newspapers, was adopted around 10 p.m. by hoodlums who killed his fans. And now moving on to sports news. Chelsea have reduced the loan fee of Romalu Lukaku as they line up Manchester City's Gabriel Jesus as a replacement for Belgian. Chelsea bought back the Belgian international from Inter Milan for around £97.5 million pounds last summer. And that is it from all of us right here at Sunrise in 2. Thank you for watching.